Hello everyone, welcome to the KTAL News Now Digital Streaming Center. I'm Brittany Fran. The Forbes 30 Under 30 Europe list is published annually, highlighting individuals making an impact in their respective industries, including sports, media, technology, and so much more. Takumi Janine, an LSU MBA graduate, was honored for his work as a premier women's soccer agent, and he's joining me now to share a little about his journey to success. Hey Janine, how are you doing today? Hi, good, and you? I'm doing good. I'm excited to talk a little bit about this. This is an online MBA program provided at LSUS that you were able to utilize to launch your career. And I'm excited to talk a little bit about that. So let's just start with, you know, what did it mean for you to see that your name was listed on the Forbes 30 under 30 list? Honestly, I was, uh, I was pretty surprised, but very honored. And uh, I just feel like it's... Uh, it's an accomplishment and kind of a statement of all the work we've been doing in uh, women's soccer for, I mean, I've been in it for over six, seven years now. So it's just a great honor overall and kind of feels good also that an agent nowadays working solely in women's sports can be honored in, uh, in for 30 and their 30. So very happy. And I think my mom was much happier than me, but yeah. A proud family, and as you mentioned, a long journey to get you there. A lot of hard work, I'm sure. Um, but really putting, you know, women's soccer on the map and also the LSUS MBA pro online program as well. Tell me a little bit about how that online program made an impact in your career. Yes, yeah, so I did it, uh, I think, in 2020, if I'm not wrong. It took me a year and a half to complete the program. And I mean, it, it gave me the flexibility that I needed, but also like the the knowledge and the skills to to take a step further in my career as a as an agent. And uh, it, it wasn't necessarily stuff that uh, I could really quantify on daily basis, but I know that there are a lot of situations where I'm much more efficient or I have a much better understanding of what's going on, whether. It's from a business or economics perspective. Uh, yeah, I think uh, the, the education I got through my MBA at LSU was, was very valuable. And uh, and I'm, I'm really thankful that I, I went through it. Yeah, that's amazing. I want to talk a little bit more about that, as you mentioned, the flexibility of that. But before we dive into that, you know, I was curious to just even know how you came across the program. I think I know that you were born and raised in Paris. So tell me a little bit about your journey and then stumbling upon this online program. Yeah, so I am born and raised in Paris and uh, my mom is in Japan. And I came to the U.S. in the first place at University of Mobile on a soccer scholarship, which is not too far from, from Louisiana, obviously. And then I went to UNLV in Las Vegas, where I live now. And uh, yeah, once I, uh, I graduated with my bachelor, actually from Mobile, from, from University of Mobile, where I went back for my senior year. Once I graduated from there, I I was just looking around to see which MBA could be the right fit for me. Uh, like I said, I was looking for a bit of flexibility, something 100% uh, online. And I have a friend who actually did uh, the MBA or was doing it at the time, so who who recommended you know the program to me. And, and now I'm the one who recommended the program to one of my best friends as well, who, who just graduated as well. So, yeah, it was just a word of mouth. And uh, I think, yeah, that's, that's quite amazing. Yeah, no, it sounds so cool that you guys are kind of all just like helping each other out and then going through the program. So tell me a little bit more about you mentioned your best friend that you recommended it to as well. Yeah, so he uh, he's actually a professional soccer player now playing in Canada for a Canadian team and he kind of the same thing he's looking I mean he needed the flexibility and something 100% online and uh, I'm not sure how long it took him probably a couple of years but he just graduated and I think he was very happy as well so I think for you know people who might not have the flexibility to move somewhere full-time for school or something like that but still looking to get a, a very good education and a valuable master, I think, I mean, I think th this program is perfect for us. 
That's amazing. Yeah, so, no, I did read that. So um, that is so amazing that you were able to recommend it. I'm sure then he's going to go on and recommend it to someone else. You guys are all going to just be taking this online program. And so you talk about its flexibility and the fact that, you know, you can take it and um, be doing something else. Were, were you working while you were taking it? And tell me a little bit more about the flexibility that it provides. Yeah, so like I said, I started, uh, you know, with the company, with the agency, doing this in January 2017. So I was actually still uh, studying, you know, my undergrad at the time. And obviously, you know, we I could feel that the agency was in a good direction and that we had something good going on. And in 2020, we were already fairly established, but maybe not to the point where we are at now. But I, I knew that we had something good going on. I also wanted to take my education a step further. And, and obviously, you know, I, I guess that's where the flexibility was super important for me um, because uh, there was no way for me to put on hold what I was doing with the agency already. And, uh, and I guess that's why it was, you know, the, the flexibility was precious. And on top of that, I was looking for an AACSB accredited program and just the quality education overall as well. And uh, I guess that's why it was the perfect fit. What an amazing and unique experience. And I know that you've now already worked with some top athletes in the industry. And I'm sure you guys and the agency are just going to continue to grow, which is so exciting to see. You know, you really, truly have put LSUS on a global map with also earning this spot on the 30 under 30 list for Europe. You know, that's truly amazing um, and a great honor. Now, you really talk about also your representation in the sport sports industry. So tell me a little bit about, you know, what it feels to, you know, not only put LSUS on the map through this um, special connection that you have, but also representing minority communities um, by creating representation in the sports industry. Yeah, look, I mean, growing up, I I remember, I mean, there's a picture on my Instagram of my team when I was uh, like 12 years old or something like that. Uh, I, I was the only Asian uh, player in my team but there was so much diversity in the team and I, I loved it but now coming in the sports industry the, the Asian representation is I mean in the soccer industry especially uh, in, in Europe or North America the Asian representation is, is almost non-existent um, so to me I I never you know define myself solely as a as a someone from a minority who, who for whom it's, it might be harder than others. I, I never really paid attention to that. I've always just worked hard and I always knew that something good uh, could, you know, would come up. Now I, I also recognize that maybe, you know, some other people might be afraid to not see anyone looking like them in the sports industry and that might, you know, stop them from, you know, trying to really pursue a career in sports because of that and um look if it helps one person to see me you know having some sort of success in the industry if it helps one person you know seeing that it's possible to succeed in it even as a you know as an asian man or woman or you know any any minority then i would be really happy with it but yeah i mean that's kind of uh you know so i'm, I'm very proud of it but you know, I just hope that it will open more doors and, you know, give that courage, but I guess more more power to, to the next next person who's trying to make it. Absolutely. Yeah, no, that is so well said. And, uh, you know, a beautiful revelation that you've come across, right? You recognize your platform and the platform that you're on um, and the representation that you can to encourage the next generation. I wanted to ask you this. Um, what would be your message to the next generation, um, you know, Minority and beyond, you know, just the next generation of young kids maybe looking up to you and maybe they're interested in in being a part of the sports industry or being a sports agent. They just don't know how to begin. What would be your message to them? Just words of encouragement. Yeah, I think it's uh, finding uh, finding your purpose. Uh, my, you know, my purpose was to, you know, I really wanted to give proper representation to women soccer athletes. And, uh, and I think once you have a purpose and a passion for something, 
and then obviously you work hard there's you know there's like success will come so i think it's important to do the right thing for the right reason and i mean especially as an agent if we are in it just for money or you know just for the the fame or recognition usually it doesn't go well or it doesn't last long so i think to to be sustainable and you know just be in the sports industry for a long term you just have to be genuine work hard and uh and really not never be discouraged by you know being turned down or hearing no because you will definitely hear that uh, over the years but at the end work hard and, and good work ethic uh, are the key Absolutely. Amazing. What a great last message uh, to the next generation right there. And what a great conversation to give me. Thank you so much for your time. I think you definitely have put LSUS on the map and this MBA online program. I'm sure a lot more people are interested in taking it. <laughs> so thank you so much. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. All right, you guys, for more details, you can see it all right here on KTALnews.com. We'll see you next time.